Let me ask y'all a question. Where do y'all rank JC? Like, all jokes aside, what do y'all think about JC? I feel like this. JC's always been one of my favorite battlers. You know what I'm saying? His dedication to battle rap, his dedication to having fire bars. He wasn't no showing. He wasn't choking. He, let me say, he was coming with fire, and he's consistent. See, when you talk about people going from battle to battle to battle to battle to battle, and they always got fire bars, him, Danny Myers, Rum Nitty, et cetera. Niggas who could, even if you say, oh, well, he's just a puncher, but they're doing it so much, you can't say they whack. That got to stand out because a lot of people have a lot of filler. A lot of stars are not coming up with things that these caliber of MCs are bringing. So I always keep that in mind right there. Even though I like the bully rappers, I like the Shugs, I like the Brooklyn Hands, I like I like Fonz, I like them type of battles. But, but I also like Barfest too. You know what I'm saying? Let's not get that confused. So as far as the bars go, I think JC is fired. You know what I'm saying? He came out. He battled. He's got his name up. Was on URL. Was doing his thing over there. This is where my problem with JC comes in, though. He's always been his worst enemy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he be making the things harder for his career when they don't got to be that hard. Boom. Let's not forget what he did with Manslaughter Battle League. He, he spit around. They told him they wouldn't drop it. Then he turned around and he spit that round versus Tay Rock. Tay Rock, you know what I'm saying? Which I still think he did out in that battle, but Tay Rock was really wild on him. Let's be serious. You know what I'm saying? He was really barking on him like he was a goddamn cabbage patch dog that was in the middle of the street or something. You know what I'm saying? He was wild on him. And then it was like, you ain't really see JC like that. Then he started battling in dumpsters and aisle 15 in Walmart next to the eggs and hot dog stands. You know what I'm saying? I seen this nigga battle a fish in a swimming pool before for $100. Like, he started doing that. To the point that people was just like, yo, you over, you oversaturating yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're doing too much. Like, we want to see you versus these magnitude niggas. You over here battling for 25 cents and a Twizzler versus these niggas we never even heard of. You know what I'm saying? But he kept his buzz up. So, like I said, he's consistent because he kept going. JC fans already know what to expect from him. So, now you come back. You know, matter of fact, and let's not forget, you really was doing your thing on RBE too, JC. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people are upset at you. Let's not forget that. You know what I'm saying? But you come back, start having some dope battles. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 have a fire battle versus Suge, which really surprised me because I kind of thought Suge was going to beat you. I'm not going to lie. Suge knows. Like, I, I like the bully battles, and Suge know how to get in that ring and do his thing. But now he's trying to be, he's trying to write niggas. He wants all the bar niggas and shit. But, boom. The um, fire, fire B-Dot battle. Fire B-Dot battle. Boom. So it's just like, okay. You know what I'm saying? JC's on his way to superstardom. Now, superstardom is not just being a good battler. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a battler, you know the perks come with that bread. Now you actually are really battling for bread. Like, like you probably took 30 battles this this fucking two, three month span, and now you're at a, you, you can make that in this one battle. That's what every battler wants. Period. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, okay, you got your mojo back. You know what I'm saying? You back on URL. You doing good. And it's just like, boom. It looks like everything is cool. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just talking about him battling Lux. And I'm going to be totally real with you. I thought y'all was all crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, JC's dope. I don't think he could beat Lux. Like, seriously. I think when he stands in front of Lux, you will definitely see the difference. Definitely. I look at JC. JC, to me, is in the same. Like I said, he's in the same boat as Cortez, as Danny. I look him as good niggas. Who you know is fire, but they missing something. Clearly. Because they've been, Cortez has been in the game for, for what, 10 years and he's still trying to battle Calico? JC, you going back and surfing, you back and forth with surfing, you talking about battling Lux, and you've been in for years now. So these are battles that I would think he would be getting already, but it's like, I didn't think he could get no goddamn Lux. I did not think he was ready for no Lux. And it's just like, okay. So now you're talking about battling Lux, you basically made it. And it's just like, boom, he's okay. Now, everyone's killing him. Because of what he did with ARP, with the whole back and out of oops, you know what I'm saying, to take over Red on URL. Now, I'm going to be dead real with you. Business-wise, that was a bad move. You know what I'm saying? That was a bad move. You just burnt the bridge with a league that kept you afloat when this league didn't even want to rock with you like that. Period. You know what I'm saying? So that was a bad move, business-wise. But if we're going to be honest, from a battler standpoint, I'm taking O-Red over oops anyway. Just being honest. Oops is known to choke. Why would I want that when I could battle a killer machine old red? You know what I'm saying? Over here. I'm not mad. It was just first champion of the year. Like, there's more perks. And it's on URL versus RBE. 
I'm looking at it from a battler standpoint. That's what they're going to want. Period. So I understood why he did it. I didn't think it was smart. You know what I'm saying? So now, ARP says he's not booking you no more. So now, JC, I'm thinking, you know now, like, I can't mess this up. I can't even go back over there. I, got, I burnt that bridge really for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I got to make sure I'm on my P's and Q's on URL. And it's just like, bro, I just watched him get trashed by Loso yesterday. And it's just like, wow. <laughs> wow. Like, that Lux talk is getting farther and farther away, JC. Like, I need you to sit down and understand the position you put yourself in. And stop taking these, these, these. I'm trying to think of the word I want to say for these kind of battles. Like, you taking these dangerous ass battles, bro. And what I mean by that is a lot of y'all, this is y'all problem. Y'all will take a battle, right, where if you win the battle, like if JC had beat Loso yesterday, right, it would have been like, oh, JC beat Loso. I wouldn't have been that surprised that JC beat Loso. I would think he can beat Loso, and Loso's fire. I would think JC can. We're talking about him battling Lux. We're talking him about him battling Surf. We're talking about him battling Verb. I would think you can beat Loso. You see what I'm saying? But now that you lose to Loso, it's just like, oh, JC can't even beat Loso. Like, bro. That loss is five times worse than you have beaten him. Y'all be taking some real dangerous battles. And that don't mean don't book JC no more. I'm not saying that. I just want him to wake up. I'm saying wake up. Loso did you real bad. Now, if you real puts you to the back burner, what's she going to do then? You know what I'm saying? Like, word. Like, what? Because for the most part, a lot of the artists, superstars have too, but a lot of artists have managed to coast to, 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 to coexist with both them leagues and not really get cut off. You know what I'm saying? You are, let's be serious. You know you are around RB don't rock with each other. So if you're a battler, then obviously you, you ain't really trying to come in the middle. You just want your bread, but you ain't trying to mess nothing up at the same time. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like a lot of artists have been wanting to do that. Like, JC, you dead ass do that in the garbage, boy. Like, you got to step it up now, boy. If you want Lux or you want Surf, or you want these superstar niggas, you want Verb, you guys to step it up. They're not just going to hand it to you because you JC. Like, straight up. You need to go, like, on a 10-battle run on URL. Seven-battle run on URL where there's no denying if you are one of the top dudes up there. I don't feel like, like, think about it, B. Twerk is promoted way more than JC. <laughs> Look at the work ethic. Way more. This is a crazy game here. This is a, it's a political game here. It's about favoritism and stuff like that now on fan bases, which means you have to protect yours, JC. You have to win every battle. As long as niggas can't say, yo, JC lost to him, JC lost to him, you should be good. You should be good. And I know it's bad rap. Anybody can lose, true. But some people can't, just, just can't afford to lose like that. Twerk can afford to lose a battle and get a bigger name next week. That's not going to happen to you, JC. That's not. You just got to understand it's not going to happen to you. So it's like me personally, I, I really wish he would like stop playing and like really get crazy, crazy to another level to the point that we definitely is going to see him battle surf to the point that we definitely going to see him battle Lux and, and, and Mook and all these. Because he was he was saying how Mook was bad. See, that's the problem. It's like y'all niggas sit there and be like, oh, I'm better than this nigga. I'm better than that nigga. But then when all you got to do is beat A, B and C and you'll probably get him. It's like y'all fold somewhere. Somewhere y'all fold. And then you start to fade off. JC, I bet you you start to fade back off again. I bet you. I know you is. Until your next battle. You're not really going to be around like that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't really going to be on social media like that. Then when you pop back up your next battle, you're going like, to have to wild out. You're going to have to like really wild out, bro. And like really start catching bodies. Remember when you came back and when you came in the game and you, you had time bomb on URL? You made him look crazy. You made him look crazy. Like, we need that, JC. We need a nigga who can make people just look ridiculous on that stage. Not a nigga, not a little nigga who's nice, but a nigga who can really get crazy. You got to start getting crazy. That's to the point. Chess is getting is getting uh, uh, pushed more than you, bro. He is. He is. Like, what are you talking about here? If Trez get get, get his, 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 his grind right, Trez will fuck around and get pushed more than JC at this point. Like, JC, you got to do what you got to do for you, man. I, I just, I was just appalled when I seen that you lost to this nigga yesterday. I was just like, you lost to Loso? Like, oh, my God, bro. Shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cortez lost to Rum Nitty. 
I'm gonna be honest with you. I like Cortez, but I'm not surprised he lost to Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty's fire. You know what I'm saying? Fire. I knew going into the battle there was a chance Cortez was gonna lose. I didn't go into the battle thinking JC was gonna lose to Losa. Come on, JC. This is like when you went to King of the Dot, you had your buzz, you went to King of the Dot and got destroyed by a hundred bullets. Destroyed. Come on, bro. Like like when you went to the UK and you battle Arsenal, you be having battles where it's just like you shouldn't lose at all, and you lose. That Arsenal battle would have been that battle, like, okay, JC's here. He got a superstar under his belt, and that didn't go down the way you wanted to go down. You told me they didn't give you your money, you couldn't concentrate it. You got to get it together, bro. Either you're going to be a superstar, or you're going to be sitting here just, just in it to get whatever couple of hundred dollars you can get. The choice is yours. Make up your mind. One.